Now let's move on to the next question. In the next question, two columns are given and we have to match those columns. Now, the A given in this is the pure nitrogen and there are four options. 1, 2, 3, 4, chlorine, sulfuric acid, ammonia and sodium azide. And we all know that the nitrogen can be prepared by the heating of barium azide. So let's begin with the solution. The solution is BaN3 whole twice. Now this is a formula of barium azide and when we will heat it, we will get barium plus thrice N2, right? So what we can do, we can match this column like this. So A is matched with 4. Haber's process is the process to prepare the ammonia. That's why it will be matched with the third one. And contact process is the process to prepare the sulfuric acid industrially. That's why it will be second. And Deacon's process is for the preparation of chlorine when HCl is oxidized, right? So our correct answer is the option number four. So answer is the fourth one, right? Let's move on to the next question. Now, in this question is asking, which of the following diatomic molecular species has only pi bonds according to the molecular orbital theory? Now, in NCRT, it is clearly given that the species is C2. Now, we need the reason. Why C2? Why not O2? Why not N2? Why not Be2? Let's find the reason of that. Let's move on to the solution. So, the solution is, first we have to write down the electronic configuration of C2. So, the electronic configuration of C2 is sigma 1s2, sigma antibonding 1s2, sigma 2s2, sigma antibonding 2s2, pi 2px is equal to pi 2p, y and 2 electrons in each p or pi p orbital, right? Now, the bond order we can find by the formula number of bonding orbitals, the bond order is number of electrons present in bonding minus anti-bonding whole divided by 2. So, the number of bonding electrons are 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is equal to 8 minus anti-bonding is 2 plus 2 that is equal to 4 and it's by 2 and the bond order is equal to 2 and as per the question these two bonds which is the bond order are pi bonds now bonds are formed by the valence electrons and the valence electron means the electrons having the highest energy right now in this case you can see that sigma 1s and sigma antibonding 1s will have the less energy than sigma 2s and sigma antibonding 2s and the outermost electrons which we can take are present in pi 2px and pi 2py and if the electrons are present in pi 2px and pi 2py the nature of these two bonds will be pi bond. So our answer is the third one option number three is the correct answer. Let's move on to the next question. Now, in this question is asking for the second period elements, the correct increasing order of the first ionization enthalpy is. Now, we know that as we move across the period, ionization energy increases, but there are two exceptions. Let's move on to the solution. So, the solution is The ionization energy of boron should be greater than beryllium. 
but it is not correct why because in the case of beryllium the 2s subshell is completely filled that's why beryllium will have the more ionization energy than boron there is one more exception and that exception is the ionization energy of nitrogen is more than that of oxygen because in this case the subshell 2p is half filled and half filled subshells are stable that's why second option is the correct answer so the answer is option number 2 right let's move on to the next question